In this lesson, we'll discuss the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol Authentication, or LDAP. LDAP is an open source protocol used to communicate with network directories. It is a lightweight, fast protocol that runs over TCP IP. That makes it ideal for internet-based access requests. Because LDAP is an open protocol, most applications can access a desired server regardless of the directory service being used to manage authentication. LDAP traffic is in clear text by default, but LDAP can run using SSL or some type of transport level security. So how exactly does LDAP work? Let's say we have a client who is trying to access network resources. The network server has been configured with Active Directory. Active Directory includes a database with details about authorized network users' information, including usernames, passwords, and groups. It also stores information about various network resources, including the level of access each user has to that resource. To be compliant with the LDAP protocol, data must be stored using a standard method. For example, each database entry must be an object with specific attributes. This structure helps to ensure that a directory can be easily accessed and the desired information can be found. To obtain access to the network, Active Directory and the client must speak the same language. This is where LDAP comes in. The client sends a request with required credentials to Active Directory. When Active Directory receives the request and the credentials, it compares them to the information in the database. If the information matches, the request is authorized. The client is then connected to the appropriate network resources. You must set up LDAP to authenticate credentials against the information stored in directory services. A bind method sets the authentication state for an LDAP session. You can use one of two options to perform the authentication. Simple authentication uses name and password authentication unauthenticated authentication, or anonymous authentication. Most of the time, a name and a password create the bind request that's sent to the server. Simple authentication and security layer authentication, or SASL, uses a different authentication service such as Kerberos to bind to the LDAP server. The LDAP server then uses this authentication service. This method provides additional security because the authentication method is separated from the application protocols. That's it for this lesson. In this video, we discussed the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. We discussed what it is and how it works. We also covered the two authentication methods, Simple Authentication and SASL Authentication.